Welcome viewers to our deep dive into the world of ultrasonography. Today, we examine two intricate cases of ectopic pregnancy, highlighting how ultrasonography is crucial for early detection of this critical condition. Our first case involves a 34-year-old female who arrived at the emergency department manifesting classic signs of an acute abdomen. Corroborated by a positive beta-HCG test, and transvaginal bleeding. The transvaginal ultrasound revealed a hypoechoic, amorphous mass within the pelvic cavity. Devoid of discernible structure or vascular flow, indicative of coagulated blood, suggesting clots around the pelvic organs. A sign of a ruptured ectopic pregnancy with internal bleeding. Normal ovarian morphology was observed. Ruling out ovarian complications. Additional abdominal evaluation identified free fluid accumulation. Around the liver. The spleen. And in the paracolic gutters. Indicating a significant amount of intracavitary bleeding. Amidst the avascular clots, a discernible mass with increased echogenicity was identified within the left adnexa. Doppler sonography confirmed its vascular nature. Starkly contrasting with the surrounding clots. Considering the clinical presentation and laboratory findings, this observation is highly suggestive of a ruptured ectopic pregnancy, despite the absence of a clearly visualized gestational sac in the tubal region. In our second scenario, we encounter another ruptured ectopic pregnancy, albeit with less extensive hemorrhage, featuring a distinctly visible gestational sac within the right adnexal region. The sonographic landscape revealed a clot occupying the posterior cul-de-sac, extending towards a heterogeneous adnexal mass nestled between the uterus and the right ovary. Here, a more defined nodular lesion with an anechoic center was discernible, a classic sonographic hallmark of an ectopic gestational sac, further delineated by peripheral vascularization on Doppler imaging. This case, set against a backdrop of a female patient of reproductive age with a significantly elevated beta-HCG and no intrauterine gestational sac, strongly pointed to an ectopic pregnancy. The identification of a gestational sac with yolk sac and or embryo in the adnexa confirms the diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy, though many cases may not present with such definitive features. Instead, a combination of patient symptoms, serial ultrasonography, and beta-HCG trends often guide the diagnostic process. If you're passionate about ultrasonography, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss our upcoming content. Thank you for watching. For more insightful cases like this and a deep dive into the fascinating world of ultrasound diagnostics, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.